Tonight, a growing number of medical centers nationwide, including Albuquerque's UNM Hospital, are in need of a lifeline. RSV, flu and COVID cases, the feared triple demic, all converging, pushing doctors and nurses to the brink. For the last six to eight weeks, we have been over 100% capacity. We just physically do not have enough beds for all of the patients that we need to take care of. As hospitals struggle, the CDC says flu infections appear to be declining in some areas, though still dramatically outpacing last year's numbers. In over 10 weeks, more than 9,300 flu deaths, 150,000 hospitalizations, the most of any flu season in more than a decade. COVID infections are also up 40% over two weeks as fatalities climb 25%, though cases remain far below pandemic highs. As record RSV cases are peaking. It just happened so fast. Jordan Marquez says after three-month-old Amaya caught COVID, it was RSV that nearly took her life. Every day she was just laying there and like who knows if her lungs were going to get better or not. This hospital, like so many others across the country, is overwhelmed, now putting two cribs in each room to handle the influx of children. Outside, a triage tent in a parking lot is taking adult patients the medical center can't handle. Across the country, with ER wait times stretching for hours, 12% of deaths last week were attributed to influenza, COVID-19, or pneumonia. What's happening, huh? Tonight, a grim reality on the front lines, as the very places where many turn for help are now in need of it themselves. And Miguel, we saw a surge in cases following Thanksgiving week. So what are doctors saying about large gatherings over the December holidays? Well, Lester, they're worried about them. Just like Thanksgiving, they expect large family and friend gatherings over the Christmas break. And they're worried they could see another big spike in RSV, flu and COVID cases as early as January. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.